What is it, partner? This is the last one, and he's the only thing between us and Marco. He's a scalp hunter by the name of Glanton. I believe y'all have some history. Glanton and Marco certainly seem like an odd pair, but it worked out for both parties. Marco hates 80s, and Glanton likes scalping them. Bingo! We have a good idea on where Marco's holed up, but I'm not going to move on him until Glanton is out of the picture. He's simply too dangerous. As you probably know, this ain't a ragtag band of shitbirds. Glant's crew will fight you tooth and nail, so be ready. The good news is that you'll get another shot to claim the bounty on Glanton. It's 10,000 caps if you bring back his finger. Any questions? The battle-hardened, well-armed type. That's what he has. Most of them are ex-military or old bounty hunters that prefer hunting scalps. It's nasty business. Old Judge Richter used to be in cahoots with Glanton. Thank you again for killing that fat bastard, by the way. Anyway, you best keep an eye out for ambushes and traps of all sorts. Glanton won't go down easy. Anything else? We're almost there, partner. Stay focused and take care of yourself. Honey, why the fuck are you shuffling around like that all the time? You're freaking me out. I'm doing it for my health, jackass. Good for you. Walk stuff. You wouldn't know fuck about it, Mr. Smoke and rot to pieces. You know how long I've lived smoking these fucking things? 200 years. That's longer than you'll ever live. Mr. Fucking Health. Oh, no way. I'll live at least as long as that. I'll live much longer. I'm a superior fucking, uh, specimen. Oh, really? What happened when we ran into the Cazadors east of Reno? You were crying like a little fucking girl. Specimen, my ass. That's, that's uncalled for. You don't bring Cazadors into the argument. Those goddamn devil fucking bug things are straight from hell. That's a dick move, even for you. Not my problem, you fight like a fucking idiot. Running out there with a goddamn sledgehammer. What the fuck was that about? Not that you would understand. But I have an issue with firearms. They make me uncomfortable. I prefer to smash things. Wait, you're scared of guns, but you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a goddamn Cazador. Even by mutant standards, that's indescribably stupid. Just keep it up. Keep calling me stupid. I'm gonna walk out that fucking door. I'm still the fucking healthier one. Fucking smoking piece of shit. What can I do for you? Sure thing. Yeah, see you later.
anybody there. Hmm. Nothing here after all. It had to be you, didn't it? I knew you would run with Randall, but I didn't expect you to come all the way up here. I'm sorry we didn't have a proper goodbye back in Silverwood, but my departure was a matter of necessity. Oh, I salute you for your brilliant, if improvised, defense of the town. I doubt I could have done any better. Pity about the Sandwolves. Now before you do anything rash, just know I've got a half dozen tribals strapped with explosives in the next room. I'm walking out of these mountains, and nobody's stopping me. I'm not going to die up here on behalf of some miscreant like Marco. Let me pass and the kids are yours, safe and sound. Push me, and I'll pull the fucking temple down on both of us. Do I look like some filthy savage to you? That might work on a cretin like Red Bear, but I won't humor your ego. It's not happening. You wouldn't stand a chance, but I am intrigued. Even then, no, no, it's not worth it. You're not worth it. So they do. Very well, Courier. I'll be carrying your scalp with me when I leave this place. Hey! I'm hit!
What can I do for you? Sure thing. Yeah, see you later. You lead something, Chief? A world of justice, real justice. That's rare in the wild parts of the world, but maybe even more so in what we call civilization. Seeing genuine injustice when basic morality is marked right in front of you, that's why I witnessed, and it changed me. As a hunter, I feel like the dog that keeps wolves at bay. The livestock might resent his methods, his personality, but they need him. I used to be one of the cattle, blind to dangers around me or just content to bury my head in the sand. The hound was always inside, though. What about you? Are you one of the hounds, or are you just one of the bees? Just stay away from me, okay? Hey, Fork, back in the NCR. It's a ways west of Reading. Damn beautiful place. It's not so hot as Mojave, nor is it freezing like here. Haven't been there in a long while. Set up from there a young age. Made my own way since. Not much else to tell. I think about it sometimes. I still have family back there. Not going back, though. Left there when I was 16. Turned my back on my father after a fist fight. I sort of drifted for a while before I came into this profession. I got word years later that he had died. We hadn't spoken since I left, so I didn't go to the funeral. Closest brother sent me a harsh letter. Told me I was just a drag with no real family anymore. He had always been Dad's favorite little kiss-ass farm boy. That wasn't me. Still, you only have one family. I've worked hard to bury the, all those old feelings. Those kind of connections will make you weak. What do you think? Yo, that kind of pain can be worse than a gunshot wound, you know? Hell, that's kind of kindly, though. Not to mention unfair to my kin. Then Mr. House, who lorded over the strip, is dead. Good riddance, I say. What is it, partner? The old scalp hunter got scalped. I understand you took him down without any collateral damage. That takes skill. You earned yourself a nice fat wad of caps for this one. Only one thing left to do now, partner. We know where Marco is. We just have to get him. I've still got a few preparations to make, so just let me know when you're ready, and we'll round up the posse. The readiness is all, my friend. What you got? What is it, partner? Brookshire's got the intel. Go see him for the details. 
I'll get the rest of our posse formed up. It's time to finish this. Courier, and don't strain yourself. I need you alive. Fucking every bitch. Are you gonna help me move this pile of shit or what? Why? Why don't we just shoot the fucker? Brooker said not to touch this one or Randall. It's part of the deal. Fuck up, and we don't get paid. Why the fuck are we hauling them to town? When are we getting paid? Relax. Brooks said we'll get paid once business in town is settled. Here's the Brahmin. Let's load him up. Careful, one of them's coming around. Keep that hood on. Here, this should take care of him. <laughs> 